You might know that Arabic writing goes from right to left, but what about Arabic numerals? Welcome to another video from Ihsan Arabic. Today we're discussing everything to do with Arabic numerals. In this table, we have two sets of numerals. We have the Eastern numerals, which are used traditionally in the Arab world, and we have Western numerals, which are used all over, and you definitely know about those. So, um, what's the deal with this name, Indo-Arabic numerals? Well, the name has to do with the development of the decimal system. The decimal system. What's the decimal system? Oh, that went a bit wrong there with the <laughs> with the the M. I got a bit carried away there. The decimal system. The decimal system is this idea of increasing numbers by the power of ten. So you have your units, you have your tens, you have your hundreds, you have your thousands, and so on. And this decimal system was pioneered, as you may well know, in India. It was then later developed and refined in the Arab world. And later on borrowed by Europeans. So that's where we get the name Indo-Arabic. Now, as for a numeral, um, just a bit of housekeeping, what's a numeral? Well, a numeral is really the term we use for a symbol which communicates a number as opposed to writing out the number like, you know, one, two, we, this is long, so we have these numerals here to, to do the job for us. We've established that Indo-Arabic numerals refers to both the Eastern and the Western systems. Now, Arabic students are going to want to learn the Eastern system because many Arabic books use this for the page numbers, for dates, so it's important to get to grips with it. Um, that, that said, a lot of people find this quite tricky. And um, I think the reason for this is because the Eastern and Western numerals are quite similar, but at the same time quite different. So check this out. I mean, the numbers 1 look pretty much identical. The number 9, well, they look identical as well. And on the other hand, if we go to things like the, 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 the four in the Eastern script, the four looks like a backwards three in the Western script. So, you know, that's going to definitely give you a bit of a headache for a while, especially when it's a long number and you're having to de uh, decipher what it is. Although with a little bit of practice, you can really get used to these and be fluent in both systems. I suppose it's significant to mention the direction that the numerals flow in. Because if you've studied Arabic a little bit before, you'll know that Arabic runs towards the left. Arabic text runs towards the left. So here's an example sentence. غادرت مصر I left Egypt. Okay, and in this sentence, as we can see, the text is running towards the left. So now if I was to um, add to that sentence and say غادرت مصر في عام ألف وتسعمائة واثنين وتسعين You'll notice that my, my, my writing went back the opposite direction towards the right and that is the same as English text, the way English text flows, you'd say, I left Egypt in 1992. And, and so what we can tell from that is that the numerals in Arabic, the Eastern numerals, actually flow the opposite direction to Arabic text. If anything, this makes things a little bit more convenient for English speaking Arabic students. If you want a learning sheet which will help you to practice your Arabic numerals and get to grips with them and become fluent in them, see the link in the description to download that. And if you want a whole series on Arabic numbers which goes into their history and goes into the grammar, 
then subscribe to Ihsan Arabic because that's going to be coming soon. See you later.